morning. Good morning to you all. Yes. It's a new week. How are you doing? I am very good. You? Mm -hmm. I'm doing well as well. Yeah. I am thankful for the weekend and mm -hmm. I mean it was an amazing one. Yeah, it was really an amazing one and you know congratulations to our Muslim friends because mm -hmm. like on Monday they had e uh, it's today actually, mm -hmm. you know, they are celebrating their ED and you know uh, it is uh, just a fasting season that they are from and uh, the prayers that they gave to God and everything and they're going to start a new journey, that is what they believe in after fasting that much and then they start as fresh as new so it is to you uh, they call it ED Mubarak Mm -hmm. So Eid Mubarak to all the Muslim friends that we have. Definitely. So we're going to be heading on to the morning call, but let's first have a look at the headlines and then we'll be right back, diving deep in the show. President Paul Kagame outlines shortcomings that may allow sexual abuse in Miss Rwanda. President Paul Kagame has said that he has come to learn about the issue of sexual abuse in Miss Rwanda organization, which lacks clear regulations that would prevent crimes from happening. Mr. Randa 2022, 18 finalists progress to the boot camp. Contestants for the inaugural edition of Mr. Randa were Saturday, April 30th, reduced from 75 to 18 who booked their ticket to the boot camp slated for May 8th. Paris Saint Germain's Ramos, Draxa, and Navas in Kigali. Three stars from Paris Saint Germain Football Club have arrived in Randa. are going to be having different stories that we're going to be pointing out and I'm very sure you guys are very ready for this. Yes, so yep. they are just, you know, information part or, you know, stories that were trending over the weekend, most especially the ones that took people's attention and they made you, uh, you know, get to know about it, whether mm -hmm. you uh, you intended to or not, but mm -hmm. it was just something that happened. So the first story is uh, the saga of Miss Randa has been ongoing and we have had different people giving their different opinions. We saw our very own first lady welcoming the girls who did uh, attend the beauty pageant of Miss Randa from Miss Randa 2016 to Miss Randa 2022. So now His Excellency Paul Kagame spoke about it at uh, the event of uh, FPA that happened over the weekend and President Kagame outlines shortcomings that may allow a sexual abuse in uh, Miss Randa. So President Paul Kagame has said that he has come to learn about the issue of sexual abuse in Miss Randa organization which, lack, uh, I mean, which lacks clear regulations that would prevent crimes from happening. So earlier this earlier uh, last week, uh, which was almost the end of it, the CEO uh, of uh, Rwanda Inspiration Backup Ishimi Diodone, famously known as Prince Kid, was arrested over sexual abuse of Miss Rwanda Beauty Queens who participated through several years. And in uh, the Rwanda Patriotic Front R PF in Motanyi Congress that took place on the 30th of April. The president who learned about this issue from Rwanda Investigation Bureau, which is RIB, and the media said, um, that initially he was not uh, much interested in Miss Randa. He says, I quote, you know, there are things you just ignore because they don't add anything. I was compelled to talk about it because people who are supposed to benefit from the event are not getting value uh, for their money and also, uh, but the organizers themselves in an awful way to benefit the president said. So he also continued, he says, you find that men behind it are involved in trafficking and also abusing participants and it happens. And some people know about it and they do not denounce it. So for the president, if such things can happen in Rwanda, uh, it means to some extent we are either absent-minded or we know, but we don't care, he says. So he said that while the country encourages job creation, it's a, sh it's a shame that some uh, someone can build their business on abusing people. He continues to talk about it. And uh, here's a video, a short video from the event that took place over the weekend. Please take a look and uh, get the information or get His Excellency Pokagamiza words from himself. Gutezimbere umunyarwanda kazi ni right. Ni burenganzira. Ntabwo ari ibintu dukwiye gushimira abagabo. Ah ah. Ntabwo ari byo dukwiye gushimira abagabo ngo nawoze numva ngo umugabo akagira rya umugabo umugore doesn't owe you anything. If anything you owe each other. The first thing is you owe each other respect. You owe each other this right. Now, umugore, no murugo, cyangwa no hanze, 
ataranarongorwa cyangwa cyo kiri umukobwa hanze burenganzira bwe ntubwe ntabwo abukesha umugabo ibisigaye bikaba kubana kuzanya amategeko y'umuryango n'indi mibanire bikubahirije Yes, and it was a speech from His Excellency Paul Kagame. So the president himself said that in cases like the one of Miss Randa, the girls should come out and denounce the authors who rule them and also showing them some favors. He says our children should have the courage to denounce it, even though they may say they will lose what they are otherwise entitled to. President Paul Kagame also said in his speech. So mm -hmm. I think it was really... A, uh, an amazing move and a concerned move to all the girls who faced uh, or who went through the f the, the phase of Miss Randa. And you know, if any if, if of any case something happens to you, either being harassed sexually or harassed in any other way, mentally or what, uh, from President Paul Kagame's words, you should come out and denounce it before it's too late. Definitely, yeah. it's 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 an actual thing that. Um when we see everything that is going on, we just have to wait and see what's going to come out of the verdict and mm -hmm. the justice that is going to be given. Yeah. yeah. So heading on to the second story, uh, this is, of course, Mr. Randa 2022. We have seen uh, different editions, very funny ones and yeah. very um, interesting ones, I yeah. must say. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a very wonderful one, I, I, I should say so. So 18 finalists progressed to the boot camp, uh, contestants for the inaugural edition for the Mr. Randa were Saturday, April 30th, reduced from 75 to 18, who walked, uh, who booked their ticket to the boot camp slated May 8th. Um, so in a colorful evening of fashion runway and glamour, all the 75 contestants were selected during the provincial auditions governed at Kigali Serena Hotel as they looked to push into the top 18 so as to earn a chance to go to the boot camp and boost their chance of winning the crown for the contestants very first time. The venue was full of their revealers who sat in groups so as to put their voices together while supporting their favorite contestant and made sure they waved to the contestant while walking on the stage as they hit the runway when the pre-selection show started a few minutes to 8 p.m. The finest music mix from female DJ era and traditional atmosphere created by Ibi Hamid Gimana Kalcho gave the event a very uh, different but perfect color worth noting. Uh, before the panel of judges as well, comprised of radio journalist Aisa uh, and also Sevu Debier and musician Jean-Pierre Damier, Ngurunzi uh, commonly known as Maji Maji, contestants showed up for a series of a runway in traditional and casual attire before each of them passed before the jury for a question answer station during which they would answer questions from the judges on various topics tackling the society. There were 15 tickets for grabs to be able to make it to the boot camp as three contestants were the highest number of votes uh, were already guaranteed a place in the boot camp. The three most voted progressed to the boot camp included Yannick Chusamu Hunde, Gilles Maurice Ngabo and Hartman Kelly Nyiri Hirgwe. Uh, they were joined by 15 more contestants who impressed the judges, mostly during the pre-selection, included Ive Kaitava, um, Cruz Kami, Patrick Ngemera, Murego, uh, Alain Norbel Carissa, Patrick Ahimbazgue, Fabrice Brice Nio Nagize, and Richard Gwema Dihame, the lone contestant with disability, making it to the boot camp. Others included Prince uh, Iber. Uh, Alex Mbaraga Trezol, Derek Salto, uh, John Magnifique, and Moise Iradukunda. The 18 uh, finalists will head to the boot camp, which starts next week, precisely from a uh, to 13th, and an confirmed hotel where they will be trained on different aspects, including project development, runway, and other important skills and values that Mr. Randa must have. The winner of Mr. Randa will be announced during the grand finale that is slated for May 14th. I can't wait. We cannot wait to see who is going to be taking the crown home. Definitely. I mean, it's just weird because it's the first time that we have seen True. this competition. Mm -hmm. But let's just be open-minded and see where it's going to be heading. Mm -hmm. And you never know, somebody might 
it's actually benefit from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel like, why not? Mr. Randa and Miss Randa should have a platform that mm. is, they should work together. They should work together to bring both their project, project, projects mm. to life because after all, all this, it's a man and a woman. Yeah. Standing for a country mm -hmm. with both brains, beauty, culture. Mm -hmm. For men, I think it's. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, but the brains and culture. But the brains included. and culture are included. Yeah. I think that the one for beauty, I don't, we, we want to know. It might be handsomeness first. or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will definitely find out after this, and we'll come back tomorrow in the show in the opinion poll, letting you know what we found yeah, out. Exactly. So yeah. it's just the congratulatory message uh, for the 18 contestants that mm -hmm. have made it, and what you just have to, you know, do is just be on the lookout on the 8th of May. That is when the boot camp is going to be starting, and then the official uh, ceremony of Mr. Uganda, of you know, like crowning mm -hmm. the man. Is going it's going to be on 14th, 14th May, and we can't wait for the grand finale. And we wish all the contestants yep. a very, very wonderful. Um, and a very good wish from Casey to may the best win and we can't wait to see how it goes down mm -hmm. I think we should actually find an opinion poll when it comes to this topic because you know very many people didn't take it lightly let's to do see. it tomorrow no, don't put it far just huh? put it tomorrow ah, okay we shall do tomorrow something yes. to, we shall find a very well way to put it mm -hmm. with Mr. Randa do should men as well attend beauty pageants exactly because some yeah. people actually took it not to mm -hmm. be the right thing yeah they men started commenting be. about the men who actually got involved <laughs> it's just too much right they yeah. start to classify them into different mm. things and why why shouldn't they do it because we have seen male med models out there yeah we have so why shouldn't a man be on a runway why shouldn't that they should actually be the topic we're having it tomorrow <laughs> so why mm. you have to do stay tuned and you know give us your ideas yes. let us know what you think about it definitely yep so heading on to the next three again thank god you're the one doing this story because these names were very hard for me girl i was like nah I don't even know how to pronounce all of them, and, and how am I even going to be involved in football I mean, clubs? I'm also not involved, but let's just don't laugh at me. I'm just I going to laugh. do my best. I will laugh. There is no one. I'm not going to laugh at you. Anyway, uh, leaving jokes aside, uh, Paris Saint Germain's, uh, you know, uh, guys or team members came to Rwanda last week, which was actually over the weekend, and PSG's Ramos. Draxla and Navas in Kigali. They came last, uh, you know, uh, this uh, weekend. So three stars from the team Paris Saint-Germain, a football club, have arrived in Kigali. And they include defender Sergio Ramos, goalkeeper Kylo Navas, and also forward uh, Julian Draxla. So their visit is arranged uh, through the pa uh, Paris Saint-Germain's football club's current partnership with Visit Rwanda. And this is the first time by Paris Saint-Germain football club or PSG players since Rwanda and the French based football giant signed a three-year sponsorship deal uh, since 2019 so they arrived to uh, i mean over the weekend following the announcement to visit the country yesterday in a highly awaited visit to rwanda uh, by ramos in a video posted by the psg's uh, team you're going to be seeing the video down on your screens so in the video ramos exhibited the visit uh, rwanda logo uh, log at uh, the black of i mean sorry at the back of his training kit and also confirmed that, that he and his colleagues are visiting rwanda and it's just a, a video that went viral so he said i am going to pack my bag because i am going to the volcano park because i want to meet the baby gorillas ramos said in the video so uh, draxler and also navas said they are looking forward to getting the uh, to getting to know uh, Rwandan culture and also see the gorillas. I mean the gorillas and showing excitement in the video. Draxler added that uh, the visit will be something he was looking forward to, and he says, "I quote, honestly, I can't wait to go there with the team to explore the big five." Draxler also added. So there are even some pictures that we included of them. Uh, who, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ramos, Draxler, and also Navas who visited uh, the Akadira National Park at, uh, on uh, Saturday morning or Sunday uh, morning. So they also got to visit they started their visit and it's, yes that is actually the picture and it's just a great partnership that is going to be you know letting people know what Rwanda is mm -hmm. from the partnership between Rwanda and also the PSG team mm. yep it's wonderful I think visit Rwanda is one thing that I must say one aspect mm -hmm. one very huge uh, aspect that I must say is amazing because when you see how uh, different people different celebrities different big icons that we mm -hmm. see in the in the news section in the 
football section, all of them, the icons that are very huge, mm -hmm. they're people that are loved, they're people that are appreciated in the whole world. Yeah. So seeing them posting this and, 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 and making people um, urge themselves to mm -hmm. come and see the baby gorillas, it's something very beautiful. I mean, it's just one way of showcasing the country mm -hmm. and to the team or that put Visit Rwanda together, they really did an amazing job and, you know. Yeah, and we thank our leadership yeah. so much with everybody that works with our leadership to make sure that our country is as beautiful as it is mm -hmm. and bringing people together that are icons that people see and bringing them and encourage other people to also come and visit Rwanda, it's superb. Yes, it was mm -hmm. just an amazing thing that they did together, mm -hmm. all they yes, put together. Definitely. Yep. So that was it for the morning call. I hope we had very wonderful stories for you, but it's not the end of the, of the morning cafe. We still have a lot more coming. Please stay with us. Don't go anywhere.